Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's new month. We've got the new Loot Anime box in my hands. Now, Loot Anime is one that numerous geeky services out there that delivers a box of goodies to your doorstep. This one geared towards anime and manga fans. What a shock with a name like Loot Anime. Now, Loot Crate hooks us up with the box for free, so we don't pay anything. We like to be upfront and transparent about these things, and then you can make your decision as to how full of it I am. Now, Right away, this box feels pretty packed with stuff, so I'm very interested in seeing what's inside and how good it is. Now first, Loot Anime gives you a nice little poster every single month that you can go and uh, put up with that. But on the back of the poster is all the things that are coming out uh, within. So let's go with the first item. Uh, now, first and foremost, the, the theme is work for it. It's not just anime and manga. They actually have a theme every single month. Uh, starting off, we get this nice little uh, Bungo Stray Dogs pouch. Uh, Kunikido Dopo Signature Notebook is considered his ideal item. Can you blame him? This lone poet ability uh, means any needed object. This virtuous and gullible detective writes out appears just in the nick of time. If you're as dedicated to the reputation of the army or armed detective agency as he is, Store your own pre-written notes in this exclusive Bungo Stray Dogs Nylon Pouch. Designed to look like Kunikata's, Akita's prize pages, you'll be ready for any algebra lesson or plans. Licensed by Crunchyroll, made by Jack Natal. Don't know the manga, don't know the anime, so that really doesn't mean a whole lot to me. You can find I don't like a, know a lot of these, which should be interesting. Alright, next we've got Jin Tama Gintoki Sakata figure. Again, another thing I don't know. Uh, Jintoki Sik Sakata might be known around his alien occupied town as Odd Jobs Jin, but he's still a rebel samurai at heart. When he's not sparring with Amanto invaders, Jin san is earning his keep as a freelancer for price at Yorozuya. You'll be happy you hired this figure of Jintoki Sakata Katana at the ready to protect his employees. Licensed by Dan uh, Ban Presto, made by Ban Presto. You can see the statue here. I know nothing what this is. Looks like a pretty de decent statue, but. Since I don't really know the manga or anything like that, I got no opinion. All right, we got uh, two more items. Uh, we've got Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Journal, a nice blank journal for you. Uh, this is a Loot Crate exclusive. Exclusive Kobayashi is an office worker with a problem. That problem. She agreed to let a dragon maid move in with her after a drunken encounter on a mountain. Mythical Mayhem assumes as Toru takes on a humanoid form and makes herself right at home as a housekeeper for Pori Kobayashi. If anyone could use a journal to write how stressed out they are at work at home, it's this dragon maid's headless and accidental human boss. Discovery of this exclusive journal features the silhouette of Miss Kobayashi's dragon maid, licensed by Crusher Roll, made by Southwest Offset Printing. Again, don't know about it, so can't really say anything. Uh, and then the Final item is Soul Eater Volume 1. It's a limited edition with a different cover, which is kind of cool, by Yen Press, made by uh, Yen Press and Hatchet. Welcome to Death Weapon Meister Academy, where students learn how to hunt down evil humans. Great student teams include a Weapon Meister and their Demon Weapon, but uh, they'll need some quality reading material from the DWMA library. What exactly do you learn in the hallowed halls of a school run by actual literal death? Educate yourself with volume one of the manga, complete with an embossed cover. And I'm always a fan when manga are in there. Not really uh, huge on manga, so I'm learning all about that. So this gives me a nice opportunity to check out something I might have not checked out before. And then finally, with all of these boxes, the Loot Anime boxes, they come with a charm as opposed to a pin like the other Loot Crate stuff. So, uh, there we go. Nice focus there. So it's a kitty work for it phone charm. Pure lace your order with for a charming cup of coffee at a cat cafe to keep your phone energized uh, all shift long. Really nice because I need charms because uh, I keep on breaking some zippers. Uh, as with all Loot Crate boxes, they usually come with something really neat inside. This one looks like a uh, checkout um, cash machine that you can go and play with and have some fun and recreate scenes. Um, overall, like, an interesting box, not bad. There's a big statue that I feel like you get your money's worth. The, the manga is pretty cool. Uh, the pouch is a neat item. That's something new that I haven't seen before. And, you know, the journal, we've seen different versions of the journal. So, uh, overall, I'm going to kind of give it a thumbs up. It's 
Uh, while I don't know any of the properties, the items themselves look actually kind of cool and at least worth the, the money that way, so I'll give them credit with that. Now, if you're into manga, you're into anime or loot anime, you should check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. As always, thanks for watching. Keep reading that manga and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.